your girl Sandra welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sandra said what as we all know it's the holiday season so I wanted to share with you guys three simple cocktail recipes that you can make at home I'm actually going to make mocktails which means it's alcohol free but you can add alcohol as you like I personally am not a fan of alcohol but you can do as you wish um, you can sub some of the ingredients as we go along so without further ado let's get into it going to need for our first drink we are going to need some orange juice I'm going to use white grape non-alcoholic wine it's up to you if you want to use alcohol but me personally I do not want to drink alcohol so I'm going to use that gonna need some oranges one should be enough of course you're going to need your ice tray and some rosemary it's very simple very straightforward so let's get to it So we're going to start with an orange and we're going to slice the orange in half. I'm not using the cutting board so I'm just going to use some paper. Next we're going to slice our orange, into small slices. I really should have used a cutting board for this but this is real life y'all. This is real life. What if you don't have a cutting board? Does that mean you don't deserve a cocktail or a mocktail? No! We make things work around here, right? So you're just going to slice up oranges. Here are our sliced oranges. So this is what a slice looks like. Take an ice tray. you're creating a little flower right and then one in the middle it's better to have like a small one in the middle leave the one in the middle a little bit elevated so I give you like a flower effect and of course repeat depends on how many you're making right it all depends on how many you're making again keep in mind to cut it kind of thin put this part a little bit on the inside and the other one on the outside so it gives you a flower by the time you're done. When you're done, your creation should look something like this. Once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead with your orange juice. Then you're going to fill it up with your orange juice. Remember, ice tends to expand, so don't fill it up all the way. But if you want it to overflow, that's up to you. So, like I said, you want this a little bit elevated in the middle so that when it freezes, you have the floral effect you're looking for above the juice there it is perfect now we're just gonna sit that in the freezer until it freezes and then we're gonna come back and add our wine of choice so now our oranges are completely frozen and this is what it looks like I would suggest if you want this recipe you freeze it a day before or if you need it for the evening freeze it in the morning because it takes a long time to freeze so now what I'm going to do is we're gonna take a glass going to grab one hold on then we're gonna grab one okay, here we go add it to our glass then we're just going to go ahead and pour our wine. And of course, we have to do it for the aesthetics. We're going to add our rosemary. And this is your perfect drink. If you want, you can add a second one. 
the glass is wide enough for a second one so this is it for the first drink i hope you guys like it let me know how you guys like it and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one for our next recipe you're going to need some cranberries rosemary and wine of choice i'm going to use the non-alcoholic sparkling white grape by welch's welch's um, so here's what you're going to do very simple and of course this goes without saying you're going to need your ice tray what you're going to do is take your cranberry so you're going to add three in each tray Next, you're going to take your rosemary and cut it into small pieces. This is our rosemary cut up into pieces. We're going to go ahead and add one to each of the little pockets. Once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and add some water. You can add water me. I'm going to use seltzer water. Once you're done with that, you're just going to go ahead and freeze it. Just a tip, make sure you have enough water to go over the leaves and the cranberries so that they freeze together. So our cranberries have frozen with the rosemary in it. It looks so pretty and colorful. It's definitely giving Christmas lights and Christmas vibes. So we're just going to add that to our glass. This is so pretty, I cannot get over it. It's definitely giving Christmas vibes. So you're just going to repeat the same thing we did earlier with the previous drink. Going to add your ice. This is a slim glass, right? This glass is slimmer. So it can hold the ice cubes in a straight angle. If it's a wider glass, it might not be able to. It looks like two is enough. We're just going to go ahead and pour our wine. And here you go. That is our second drink. It's definitely giving Christmas vibes. If you want, you can also add, again, for the aesthetics, so if you want for the aesthetics, you can add a rosemary leaf. And that is our second drink. Isn't it pretty? For this next drink, you're going to need lime juice. I'm going to use lemon because that's what I have right now. You're going to, I'm going to use some white wine, the same um, white grape, non-alcoholic. You can use tequila or whatever your white um, hard liquor of choice. You're going to need some cranberry juice. You can have like some triple C, but I'm going to alternate it with the salsa water. You're going to need your cranberries, which you already have. And you're going to need some rosemary, which you already have. You're also going to need some honey or lime juice, some sugar, and salt, regular, ta regular plain table salt, plain table salt, right? So what you're going to do is, I said you need honey or lime juice, you're going to see why, I'm going to spread it on the plate. Take your glass, now you're gonna put your drink in. Then you can do sugar or you could do salt, it depends on you. I'm gonna do a mixture of salt and sugar. Sugar. 
sugar, sugar, sugar. Going to add your lime juice. Again, I'm using a lemon. Not too much because you know lemon is stronger than lime. Salt to water. My wine. bonus we're gonna make a mimosa using all the ingredients that we already have present all you need is a glass your orange juice your wine your cranberry juice your rosemary ice of lime your cranberries all the things we've been using right so we're just going mind you this is a small glass glass so you have to be mindful of how much you're pouring so we're just going to go in with a little orange juice, not too much. Then we're going to add our wine, wine of choice, white wine of choice. Not too much, don't fill it all the way to the top because you're going to need space for the cranberries and then we're going to add a little bit of cranberry juice just for color you can drink this as is or you can you know just add the wine or and um, orange juice but I want a little bit of color so I'm gonna add a little bit of color to it I like this color I think it's pretty then going to add our cranberries As many as you like are lime or lemon, whichever one you use. And for the aesthetics, that's it. There you have it, your mimosa. We actually did take a little bit more wine, so. There you have it. Perfectly bubbly mimosa. these were our little recipes for this video i thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to press that subscribe button because i'm trying to get to 1k i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you like this video and i can make more videos like this i do have other recipes that i can share with you guys so depending on whether you guys well i'm still gonna share it anyway so let me not even say that but i thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye next recipe for our next recipe you're going to need some cranberry